What's going on, everybody? So I was thinking to myself again about this whole inflation thing and what I'm trying to do to stay ahead of stuff and as far as being prepared with everything. I think the biggest thing is filling in any of the gaps on stuff that you might not have. Um, I'm still not buying ammo until uh, July. We're going to wait until July. Uh, James Jaeger put out that thing, so yeah, I've said it a couple times. Not buying any more ammo until July. Uh, still getting my practice, I think, at least a couple more times before July does hit, but anything that we're short on is what we're trying to stock up on that I'm trying to keep more than what I need and it's starting to become a pain. I may have to do a video to show you what I'm doing to to break some of my stuff down so it's not so bulky I guess you could say but uh any of the food if there's any holes in the food there's I'm I'm doing okay with the food uh got a few good blades got several packs um just kind of sitting and waiting and seeing what's going to happen next and trying to figure out where is the best spot to put my currency that's going to benefit me the most. And I am still buying a little bit of silver. I haven't really gotten any gold lately where I'm at. I haven't seen any gold actually for sale, believe it or not. Uh, I did see a couple big pieces. I'm not trying to buy anything big or huge. You know, silver right now, twenty-seven, almost $28 or something like that an ounce. So it's not real crazy. It's more affordable if you can get one a week, one a month, something like that, to go along with $30 worth of food, to go along with whatever you might need. We're probably going to be buying another pair of boots just to have an extra pair, stuff like that. I'm just trying to fill in the gaps. Probably another package of socks to go along with the boots. These things are all good. These things are all stuff that you should have already, which I have some of, but I do think that I could, uh, I could definitely use a bit more. Drive around over here. Pretty much rush hour, but uh, these are all things that I'm trying to fill in the gaps with. I'm trying to make it so that there's not any, any, uh, how would you say, any, any loose ends or anything like that. It, you, you've got pretty much everything taken care of. Helps you sleep better at night. But I, I was just having such a problem. I'm, I'm still in the stocks. I don't know that I should be putting too much into that right now. You think of the different, uh, oh, geez, currency issues and inflation we're talking about, right? But you keep seeing stuff like this uh, cyber attack stuff. What happens if, oh, well, where I have my stocks allows me to sell my stocks and then move my stocks out. But by the time my stock cash gets back to my bank account, so I'm only doing so much in the stocks right now. I've, I've pulled back the reins a little bit and I, and I love doing the stocks. I like, I like the dividend investing and everything. But right now, it's kind of stuff that's a little bit more, like they say, tangible or something, you know, something that you can hold on to or something that you can get to right now. And I never really like leaving money in the bank anyway, so I'm not really leaving any additional money or anything in the bank. I leave a couple bucks in there in case I see something on Amazon or eBay or so, I don't know, whatever you end up getting something on that you see you're like oh, maybe I'll get a uh, yeah so thanks for watching let me know down in the comments what you think uh, of this inflation situation and everything to come because of it and let me know what you're doing to at least keep up with the amount of inflation you know if, if in May it was 5% what are you doing to get 10% because I'm trying to look to, to beat it. I'm trying to um, advance instead of uh, even just keeping up with it. But that's where that silver and gold stuff comes into play. So let me know what you guys are doing. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. And have a nice day.